This is an island in the South Pacific. For the past few days, Japanese observers have detected unusual activity here. The Japanese Imperial Air Force received its orders. Attack! At this time, the Japanese did not fully realize the importance of this mission. But in just moments, they were to break up one of the greatest actions ever organized by elements of the United States Navy. Hey, yeah, boys, 20 down. Oh, go. <laughs> Hey, you guys, we finished the game Saturday night, McHale's Island. Okay, group, we'll be there. Don't forget, McHale's Island, Saturday night. Where were your bums last week when I was losing? <laughs> sign of that boat yet? Uh, nothing yet, Skip. Well, you don't suppose something could have happened to those guys, do you? Oh, gee, I hope not. Because I want to have the pleasure of murdering those creeps myself. <laughs> Taking a PT boat to a crap game in the afternoon. I know how you feel, Skip. Especially when you wanted to use it to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me have those glasses. Doggone those guys. Oh, no. What do you see, Skip? I see us in a stockade for the duration. It's Binghamton. Binghamton? I've been ahead for boondocks. Yeah. Boy, what's he gonna say when he finds out our boat's gone? Want me to find boondocks for three? Get out of here. Here, here, Ah, hello, Captain. Hiya, Copy. Beautiful day, isn't it, sir? <laughs> Mikhail, when I want a weather report, I'll call the weather station. <laughs> Knock off the whistling. If I want bird calls, I'll requisition a cuckoo clock. <laughs> well, the reason I came over here is I've been informed that Admiral Benson is on his way to Teratupa on a surprise inspection tour. Now, I want to make sure that you have those pirates of yours shining, and that boat of yours better be... <laughs> Where's the boat? The boat? The boat? Yes, the boat. You remember the boat, don't you? It's the little gray thing has a motor inside it, has seven free painted on the side. You remember that? Oh, 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 oh that boat! <laughs> oh, and you, you want to know what happened to it? I'd like to, yeah. Oh. Well, now, I was here just a minute ago. Hey, guys, anybody down there? Oh, my. Well, now, isn't that funny how a big thing like that could disappear? Now, I can understand a collar button, but... You can... Shut it! <laughs> He'll never get through this war. If the nips don't get him, I will. It's on a, 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 a mission. Yes, sir. It's an special reconnaissance mission. That's right, Binghamton, sir. Look. There's the 73 boat, and it's coming this way. All right, Carpenter. Now, now, show me. Get back here. I'm not a word out of you two. Don't you tell them that we're here. I'm going to find out where that boat really was. No signals. <laughs> Guys. Boy, what a crap game. Group ahead 11 passes in the row, the dice devil left his hand. I was on the luckiest streak of my whole life. Uh. And it just ended. <laughs> you heard them, sir. They just came back from a crap game. I heard, I heard. Mikhail, this is one time your salt water tramps are not going to get away with this. Carpenter? Sir. Drop the court martial papers. Unauthorized use of a naval vessel without an officer on board. <laughs> Gambling. <laughs> Larceny. 
Misconduct. The works. This ought to be good for about 20 years apiece. 20 years? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, now, Captain, you wouldn't put all the boys in a brig, would you? I wouldn't, huh? You'll have the boys at the brig at 1,900 hours, right after the Admiral's inspection. And I want to thank you men for making this one of the happiest days of my life. Come, Elroy. 1,900 hours. Uh, yes, sir. Your base looked in fine shape, Pinkerton. But I did think you were unnecessarily rough on some of your men during inspection. Especially the 73 boat. Oh, well, you, you don't know those men like I know them, Admiral. No, you, you've got to be ruthless with those men. If you're not, they'll walk all over you. Well, personally, I believe that the only kind of officer who moves ahead is one who gains the affection and love of those under him. Well, uh, that, that's the way I operate, sir. That's, that's the way I feel about it. I'm ruthless, but lovable. <laughs> uh, why, as a matter of fact, I'm like a father to my men. Isn't that right, son? Hmm? Oh, yes, Dad. <laughs> I've always prided myself on the affection that my men had for me. When I left my command to move up to Comfleet, my men threw me a testimonial dinner. Gave me this watch. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh, would you believe it? The, the men on my base are throwing me a testimonial dinner? Really? When? Uh, when? When? <laughs> when? Oh, I, uh, Saturday, Admiral. Saturday. It's just too bad you won't be here, sir. But I'll, I'll write you a letter. I'll let you know how big a watch I get. <laughs> you know something, Binghamton? I might just come back for that. <laughs> you might? For that, you would. <laughs> well, we'd, we'd be delighted to have you, sir, if you would come back. We'll save you a seat on the dais. Well, I have to shove off. See you Saturday. Saturday. Captain Binghamton, I don't understand. Nobody's throwing a testimonial for you on Saturday. Oh, I'll just stand there, you nitwit. You go out and throw me a testimonial. <laughs> now it's about time you got here. How are the plans coming for my testimonial dinner? How many people are going to be there? 300, 400, how many? Speak up. I, I, I started a list, sir. There'll probably be just a, a two. <laughs> 200? Well, that's a lot less than I counted on. 200. Not 200, sir. Just two. You and me. <laughs> Out of the whole base, you can only get two people to come to my... Do you realize that we're going to be outnumbered by the waiters? What kind of a testimonial dinner is that? Why, why, why? I'm sorry, sir. I did make a mistake. There will be more, sir. Oh, that's better. I forgot the admiral. <laughs> Oh, this I'm ruined. A testimonial dinner for two people? This is a disaster. Captain, it's just too bad you're not on good terms with Commander McHale. You know how good he is at throwing all sorts of parties. McHale? I'd do better going to the Japanese, especially after this morning. Perhaps if you made up to him in some way, like uh, forgetting those charges, sir? Are you suggesting that a captain in the United States Navy would stoop to blackmail? <laughs> Come on, straighten up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Come on, come on, straighten up there. Go stay in line, you guys. Well, don't just stand there. Get my hat. <laughs> Open the door. Do something to earn your pay. How much are you getting, anyway? Gail, <laughs> Gail, you who? You who? Hold it, hold it, you guys, hold it. <laughs> what now, Captain? Ah, how are you boys doing here? You out for a little constitutional? Constitutional? We're on our way to the stockade where you ordered us to go. Stock like I... Oh, yes, yes, of course. But there's no hurry about that, after all. I mean, it's open 24 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, boys, I've been thinking about it, and I was thinking, after all, what is the big crime you did? What was so terrible? So they took a boat out without an officer, and I know the Navy frowns on that, but I don't think that's so bad, do you? Well, now, you know, I don't think that's so bad either, Captain. You know they do it all the time, don't you, Skip? Uh... But, but they'll never do it again. Oh, I believe you, Chuck. I believe. In fact, I'm so sure you're right, I might even drop the charges. Oh. Captain, when you want to do something nice for us, there's only one sure thing for us to do. Now, what's that? Prisoners, hard! <laughs> Now, I've got to be friendly, man. Oh, oh, man, please. Oh, man, please. For heaven's sake. Oh, all right, Captain. Lay your cards on the table. Oh, now, 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 what's this all about? 
All right, Mikhail, I'll give it to you, and I'll give it to you straight. I'm in a spot, and I need the help of you and your men. I need a testimonial dinner, and I need it this Saturday night. A uh, testimonial... A dinner for you? Boy, does that mean you're retiring? No, that means I'm retiring, you bitch. I, I, I mean, I just... Uh, I, I thought it would be nice if the men on this base here made a little demonstration of their feelings towards me. He doesn't want a testimonial. He wants a riot. <laughs> All right, stand attention. You've had your little laugh, now I'm gonna have mine. Mikhail, I need that dinner, and I want it for Saturday night. I get it, and I drop the charges. I don't get it, and you won't see these cutthroats again till World War III. Now, what do you say? Well, uh, uh, Captain, uh, you just bought yourself a dinner. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you, Mikhail. Uh, shall we say uh, Saturday, your place? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, a dinner at 70? At 70. Oh, uh, and Mikhail, let's make it a very big turnout, shall we? I want to feel... Quite well loved. <laughs> Goodbye, dear heart. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Skipper, you can't be serious. We'll go to a party for old Leadbottom. Listen, that's like giving a testimonial for Jack the Ripper. Yeah, and besides, Saturday night is definitely out. I got a mob of the guys coming over to finish up the big crap game. <laughs> you what? Well, I had to come somewhere after those nip planes came to Oh, you bird brain, you! It's on account of you and your galloping dominoes that we're in this kind of a mess. Look, boy, you better get rid of that game and fast. You hear me, mister? Oh, but Skipper... Stow it, Gruber! You'll need all the con you can get, boy, in order to get enough swabbies to come to bring up this testimonial. Whether we like it or not, you guys, we're in the banquet business. <laughs> and you better give us the wholesale rate, you hear me? <laughs> you guys do? Uh, they ran from me so fast, you'd think I had something catching. <laughs> How many did you get for the captain's dinner, group? Hey, look at that list of names. Hey, they're all coming? Nah, these are all guys who took a shot at me. <laughs> bringing them all up on charges. Hey, here comes a skip from Mr. Parker. Maybe they had better luck. Well, there's no sense in asking how you guys made out. It's written all over your faces. How'd you make out, Skipper? With your drag, you must have really lined them up. Maggie's drawers. Well, and the captain ordered a big turnout for this thing, too, you guys. Well, I could have gotten 50 guys if it had been for Binghamton's weight. <laughs> Look, Skipper, as long as we can get the testimonial going, what do you say we call a crap game on again? Oh, come on. Well, at least give us a chance to raise enough money to get a cheap lawyer. <laughs> That's something. We can't get one guy to go to Binghamton's testimonial, yet Gruber can get all the guys he wants to go to a crap game. Hey, Chuck, you may have just saved the day. Well, I always try and be helpful in time of, uh, what to do. Gruber, break out those bones again, boy. You're gonna have that crap game. You mean it, Skipper? Yes, sir. What about the testimonial? That's on again, too. We're gonna run it to him to get it. A crap game testimonial? Well, it's a wild idea, but it's our only chance. Look, all we need to do is to get those dice jockeys over here and make Binghamton think that they came over for his dinner. Then we get him in and out fast. The boys can have their game. Boy, if Bingham finds out that his dinner guests are a bunch of crap shooters, he'll kill us. If we're lucky, he'll kill us. Oh, come on, let's get back to the island. Captain Binghamton, we love you? Oh, come on now, guys. Aren't you over doing it just a wee bit? Oh, well, we give a testimonial. We give a testimonial. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Well, it's just about time for our guests to be arriving now. Uh, all you guys got your assignments straight? Check. I'll be down at the dock to tip off the action boys from the fleet when they arrive. And as soon as they all get here, then we start the testimonial. Then we get the testimonial over quick so we can get rid of Binghamton. As soon as Binghamton leaves? <laughs> Look, I don't care what you do after Binghamton leaves, but as long as he's here, I want you guys to stay in line. You hear me? Change the sign. Roger, Wilco, seven and up. Here he comes. Uh-uh. Chuck, let's go down and greet our honored guest. <laughs> ah, Captain. Oh, welcome to your testimonial dinner, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, Captain Binghamton, we love you. <laughs> well, that's a very nice touch. Uh, straight from the heart, sir. Straight from the heart. Uh, knock it off. Where is everybody? Everything ready? Uh, well, you're a bit early, sir, but... Uh, oh, would you care to inspect the banquet hall, sir? The banquet hall, yes. <laughs> I would like that. Yeah, uh, right this way, sir. Captain Binghamton, we <laughs> love you. <laughs> oh, uh, what's the matter, Ensign? It's a very happy day. You seem nervous. Oh, oh me nervous? No, that's silly. I think we ought to go, go over to the banquet hall. Oh, as you were, man, as you were. Well, <laughs> what a delightful surprise this is, Mikhail. Uh -huh. Certainly have a lot of seats. Yes, sir. We're expecting quite a crowd, sir. <laughs> oh, quite a crowd. And the best you could do is dinner for two, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, sir. But I'll only believe it when I see it. Uh, begging your pardon, Skipper, but there are several boatloads of men arriving at the dock, sir. Ah, oh. uh, boy. Uh, uh, yes, did sir. Did you say boatloads? Oh, yes, sir, several. Oh, yes, several sir. boatloads. <laughs> well, you didn't trust them. Oh, it's like they're good. Uh, Mikhail, we better go outside. I'll greet my guests. Uh, oh, that's a good idea, Captain. The sooner we get them in, the sooner we get the testimonial over with. That's <laughs> right, <laughs> <Just wait>, sir. <laughs> Mikhail. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a solid gold watch, which the men will present to me as a token of their esteem and affection. Oh, yes. uh, here, Parker. Hmm? Oh, thank you very much, sir. I already have one, but boy, I'll sure cherish this. This is. You give the watch to me, me, me. I get the watch. After my speech, you will surprise me with the watch. <laughs> Parker, I think during the surprises it might be effective if you would have tears in your eyes. Yes, sir, I cry very easily, sir. Yes, sir. If you'd like, I could throw a little tantrum. But my bottom dollar, your family volunteered you for service. Let's go, Mikhail. I got to throw a little. Are you trying to tell us an officer's going to be in the game? Not in the game. He's uh, sort of behind it. Hey, you're kidding. Boy, what a chance he's taking. Uh, don't worry. Bingham's is too smart to take chances. That's why he figured out this testimonial angle. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, we love you. Oh, brother. Oh, no, look, don't you guys get it? This way, in case there's a raid, we're covered. <laughs> you guys get yourself a free feed and a crap game. Now, go on up to the hut. Please, go along with Binghamton, huh? Another shot. Uh, men, Captain Binghamton. Ah, welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I hope it's as big a night for you as it is for me. I sure hope so. I got 500 bucks of my shipmates dough with me. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, well, I didn't expect cash. <laughs> Just your being here would have been enough. Yeah, right this way, boys. The beer's on. <laughs> See, on a level, you really didn't expect cash. This is the first time since I've been in the Navy that my credit was good in a crap game. Hold it, hold it, you guys, hold it. Uh, come on, matey, let's make it with the testimonial. Yeah, come on, we'll have all night. Come on, we'll get it. Beer, beer, lots of beer up there. <laughs> I guess uh, we got all the turnout we need, sir. <laughs> we can start the proceedings now, sir. Well, out of your mind, Mikhail. We can't start until Admiral Benson gets here. Did you say Admiral Benson? <laughs> Admiral Benson? Yes, Admiral Benson. This whole thing is for his benefit. He ought to be pulling in any second now. You know something? I can hardly wait to show him how well-loved I am. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yes, sir. Well, now what are we going to do, Skip? Do? Well, we gotta stall these guys and then until the Admiral shows up. Oh, but Skipper, those characters that are getting mighty restless. They're coming for a little action. Well, look, they gotta keep their shirts on or we'll have more action around here in the Battle of Midway. <laughs> Chuck, look, you go ahead inside and then, and then, and start a speech. That's it. Almost like you're gonna start the testimonial. Anything, but get them in their seats. Uh, and Gruber, you, you, you help out. Go ahead. I'll, I'll stay here with lovable old Wally. Go on. What am I gonna say? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> As you were. We're going to start the proceedings. Yeah! Uh, thank you. Thank you. And greetings. <laughs> well, of course, you all know why we're gathered here today. Yeah, that's right. Come on, EO 11! <laughs> that's right. We're all here to pay tribute to Yahoo 11. <laughs> we're all here to pay tribute to our beloved leader, Captain Wallace B. Binghamton. Hey, what's the B stand for? Box cards. No, it, it stands for Burton. Come on, you know, he's off, you swell.
Pops, remember our deal. Look, we're tired of waiting. We came here to play. Now I'm shooting 50. Who we'll fake? I'll take him. Knock it off, you guys. Make me. <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> Sir, why don't we go ahead and have the testimony, and then you can tell all the, uh, all about it to the Admiral later at the officers' club. Oh, no, 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 that won't do. I want the Admiral to see for himself how my men love me. Oh, oh yes, sir. But, but, but sir, the, the men from the fleet have to get back to their ships, and I, I, I think we should really hurry it along. On the other hand, sir, there's really no reason to hurry it. Uh, uh, why don't we go to the officer's club and wait for the admiral? Well, what do you say, sir? Yeah, make a better sense, huh? Oh. What is that racket up there? What is that? Uh, a racket? Uh, well, what racket is that, sir? Oh, darn well, what racket? Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess the men must be getting a little anxious. Uh, yes, sir, they, they're probably going to start the testimonial without you, sir. <laughs> Right about them starting, they just threw out the first marine. <laughs> so up there on the top. Yes, sir. Oh. Columbia, the gem of the ocean, the home of the free and the brave. Earth ring. <laughs> brave and the free. Hi, Captain. Boy, they're sure loving it. Getting a little carried away, though. <laughs> Water in the blue. Oh, you guys, come on, knock it off, cut it out. Hey, uh oh, it's the captain. Hey, it's Binghamton. That's right, it's Binghamton. I hear this. This is your captain speaking. Get out of the red. Every mother's son of you. This is the most outrageous, the most despicable, the most disgraceful. I said it. What's the beef? So we had a little fight. You're getting your cut of the game. Uh, come on, Captain. We'll get you all cleaned up and then we'll come back and have dinner. Yeah, and I got a lot of wonderful things to say about you yet, too. Oh, I got a surprise with you. Watch. <laughs> Did you say my cut of the game? Sure. We know all about you fronting it with this phony yeah. testimonial. <laughs> Oh, Mikhail, this does This really does it. I'm going to have you swinging from the radar mast for this. Captain oh, Binghamton! Oh, Captain, it's the... Oh! Captain <laughs> Binghamton, the Admiral's just arrived, sir. God! I'm glad the Admiral's here, Mikhail, because with the Admiral as a witness, you're not going to wiggle out of this. This ought to be good for about ten years. <laughs> well... <laughs> Okay, sir, I just hope we have adjoining cells. Yes, well, that would be nice if we had a... What are you talking about, adjoining cells? What, what, what is that? Well, sir, you see, uh, this is the only way we could get enough men to come to your testimonial dinner. <laughs> and uh, when the Admiral hears all about it, why... <laughs> yeah, like you being the only officer in naval history to have a crap game thrown in your honor. Yes, sir. No, <laughs> officer to have a... I could just scream. Uh, well, uh, we better make it fast, sir. It's either sink or swim. <laughs> sir, he's almost here, sir. Uh, I swear, I swear. I'll swim like a swim. Right. There you are. Four. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. We're so happy tonight. Well, Binghamton. I must admit that you have quite a turnout. Oh, oh yes, sir. Yes, it was Admiral. I'm sorry you had to miss it all. Yes, well, so am I. Uh, tell me, uh, did you get your watch? I did my watch. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Well, we're having such a good time, we forgot all about uh, giving the captain his watch. Uh, uh, Mr. Parker, uh, give the captain his watch. Uh, Skip, it broke, remember? <laughs> give me yours. <laughs> Skip, that's my mother. I well, can... give it to him. Uh, yeah. Surprise! Uh, as a token of our affection, we'd like to present you with this. May I see it? Well, it's even inscribed. To Poopsie with Love. <laughs> Poopsie? Poopsie. That's uh, one of the men's a pet name for me, Admiral. I, did, I told you they're crazy about me. Oh, sure are, sir. Yes, sir. All right, boys, let's hear it. Four! 